What up, Dream Gang, Gang, Gang? Who was up crazy? But it's all good. I'm here in my hood today, walking the streets of LA. And it's Wednesday, so you know what that means. I'm here to talk about what? Music and life. Let's so you go. telling me if you have 10K, 20K, 30K, 40K, 50K, 60K, 70K, 80K, that mean you went viral? Or is it like when you hit 1 million or something like that? I hope y'all are doing well. It feels so good out here today. Can't lie. The weather, the sun is shining just right. The wind is blowing. Ain't no complaint. Guys, I really got to do better though with my appearance here. Please forgive me. I'm doing my best stuff. So I feel good. They got to count for something. Anyways, I'm out here in beautiful LA. Just walking the streets of my neighborhood. Oh my God, uh-uh. <laughs> There's no way I'm putting this online without a filter. <laughs> oh my God. I was actually debating like, am I gonna make a YouTube video today? I really couldn't decide. I like, I wanted to. I always wanna be with you guys. I always wanna talk to you guys. But I couldn't decide because I'm trying to juggle so many things right now. And I just wanna like, sometimes let one of the balls fall just a little bit. But God be like, nope, get it done. This is all a part of your growth and your journey. So I'm getting it done. This week, I want to talk about auditions and how to prepare for them, how to go in and what your mindset should be. Now, I was at an audition not too long ago, and I will be honest, it wasn't my favorite audition, but I will say that I know that I was meant to be there. And how do I know? Because no, I didn't get the position. I actually left a little bit early because I thought that it was becoming a little immature and it didn't feel like a situation that I would want to be in on a regular basis. But while I was there, I was able to reconnect with some people that I hadn't seen in a very long time. And it just reminded me of the point that I want to bring to you, which is when you go into auditions, of course you want to win. We're winners, that's what we do. So of course you want to win, but don't let that be your only intention. And don't let that determine whether or not you feel like it was a success. I'm gonna let this little truck pass because as you can hear these bells, it's gonna be very distracting for me and for you. And I know especially like when you're a young musician, and I don't necessarily mean young in age, I just mean like young in your profession. Um, you want to win you want to get it you know like you put your everything on getting that position that's why you're out there doing it in the first place but it's like you got to see the bigger picture I've, I've gone to some auditions and didn't get that position but got something even better because of some people that i met at the audition something else to think about when auditioning I know you've heard this a thousand times, but it's so true. You gotta be yourself. I mean, this is the hardest lesson, and this is something that you can take not just with auditions, but in life. You gotta be yourself. They're not looking for the best player most times. They're just looking for a person that they feel like will mesh well with the musical director, that will mesh well with the other band members, that will work well with the artist. So they're not necessarily looking for, you know, Mozart. They just want somebody that's confident in themselves and that's able to bring that good energy to the stage when they play. If your energy is great and you're able to play, you understand the flow of music and when to do what, it's a great chance that you will get that position. So just be hopeful, but most importantly, be yourself. When you walk away from those situations, you don't feel like you lost anything because at the end of the day, all you can be is yourself. So when you give, what you can give and you still don't get the position what does that say that says that i wasn't right for that position it's not my fault it's not their fault it just is what it is your energy is so important it's so important i can't stress enough how you bring in great energy changes everything for you people will see that and remember that we need good energy all the time whether we like to admit it or not nobody likes a crabby patty everybody likes to be around people who laugh, play, have fun. So your energy is the number one thing. The last thing that I want to speak on is preparation. When they send you the music, you definitely want to prepare. <laughs> now I think this is something that I've fallen short in a lot because sometimes I underprepare 
and sometimes I over prepare and when I say under prepare I mean they send songs that maybe I'm already familiar with so I run over it a couple times but I don't want to overdo it so I just play through it a few times and then I'm done and then I get there and they're like oh this isn't the exact sound you know so it's like you want to be the correct amount of prepared but sometimes it's just hard to tell if you can though if you have enough time try to try to build the sounds that are in the songs that they send try to learn the parts verbatim they want you to play the parts exactly as they are someone once said that the beauty of music is what you the beauty of art is what you leave out and i believe that i believe that it's important to not overdo anything so yes know your song know your part but also be open to other stuff because what happens a lot is they'll give you three or four songs to learn and you'll only work on one of those songs and a lot of times they'll throw in a whole new song or the songs that you prepared they might not even go over those they might not even use those songs so to be over prepared just means that you're so rigid on the songs that they've sent that you don't have any flexibility to do something else the one thing about this music business nothing is guaranteed everything is constantly changing and you never know when it's going to happen so the best advice that i can give is be open for anything stay ready so you don't have to get ready also learn the parts yes but especially as a keyboard player sometimes there'll be more than one piano part i say don't try to learn every part it's not necessary just learn the parts that are essential to the song and that will require you to use your common sense and to use your individuality to decide hmm is this a part that's prominent to the song or is this just like a little extra that i can leave out yeah be yourself don't get intimidated do your thing and feel good feel good about who you are where god has led you to know that you're there for a reason well dream gang 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 y'all for real i don't have a name for you guys and i need a name so can you please leave me a comment down below and tell me what you think y'all's name should be like i want it to be something that you want to be called you know all right guys well if you like anything that i said today and you feel like you can continue to grow with me because i'm all about growth and what purpose then please subscribe to this channel like this video leave a comment let me know how you feeling what you're thinking you know some experiences that you've had with your auditions and let's just continue to vibe out i love it don't worry about a thing don't worry i'm so grateful y'all but anyways, much love. I'll see y'all soon. Peace. Mwah. Mwah. Mwah.